What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a dress like Playboy Cardi challenge. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for this one. It's been a request for a while. And if you don't know what this series is, basically I go ahead, I find different rappers or celebrities and I find outfits and try to find different alternatives to them so you guys can get them for cheaper. I've done plenty of these before, so if you guys like the idea of this challenge, go ahead and subscribe and you can see all the different challenges. And also let me know who you wanna see next down below because I'm getting requests all the time. So I like to see what you guys like best. Let's go ahead and just cut to the chase and head to the computer and look for some different outfits by Playboy Cardi. So we're just gonna type in Playboy Cardi fashion 2017. So websites like this one are ones that typically have outfits and they'll show some of the stuff that they have on the outfits where you can find similar stuff. Typically you can't find the whole outfit when you're on there but we're gonna look through and see some of these. Now I know a lot of the time Playboy Cardi has a lot of hype things on as well as he has some different outfits like this one. I've done previous outfit challenges with track pants so I'm not gonna do it again but basically it looks like it's a merch shirt. It's kind of like a split shirt. Then we have the fear of God track pants. This one I'm not gonna go for because I'm staying away from the track pants again, like I said. I like this one right here, it's a nice little varsity jacket, and some black denim, but very simple, nothing too crazy for us to go ahead and you know make an outfit out of and find something cheaper. I like this one right here. This one, it has a little bit of more flow, so you have a bandana as well as you have a nice little varsity jacket or a letterman jacket. Then you have some denim. So this one I like, so we might go back, they got some blazers as well. Here we go with this one from Playboy Cardi. Now he's wearing the same jacket. I think that the one from the Travis Scott, yeah, it's the parka that Travis Scott had on in the outfit challenge, which is pretty cool. Let's keep looking. I'm gonna go back to Google though and just see if there's anything in here because I've looked a little bit and you know, I like this one right here. We got the Kappa pants, we got the blazers and a crew neck. That's pretty cool. So maybe we can see like if Paxson has some of the Kappa pants or something because I know they've been coming out with them recently and having those for sale. Let's just keep looking. We got this full camo outfit right here. Not gonna go for that one. We're gonna look, he's here with Yachty. This is the full outfit. There we go with the track pants again. Let's see, let's see. Got the wraps on, he's got a white shirt. That's pretty simple, but the wraps would be hard to replicate. Let's see, cause I don't wanna keep it, I don't wanna do too expensive, but it's gonna be in the middle of the price range. My guess is it's gonna be somewhere around two to $300, but we'll go ahead and just see how that looks. This one's pretty cool right here. We got the Supreme t-shirt, we got the clout goggles, we got the denim jacket. Denim on denim though, I already did an outfit challenge like that for Lil Uzi if you didn't see that one. So I'm gonna stick away from that one. I think I might wanna go back to that one of the original ones that I saw. This one right here with the Letterman jacket. Now one thing that kind of held me back on it is the denim because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find denim like that. So we're gonna have to look. But we have a nice, it's a Supreme Elmo t-shirt under there. And then we got the Letterman jacket, we got a bandana. So I think that we could put this outfit together. Let's go ahead and just start the search. You guys know what happens next. I go ahead and I just try to find different things like this, like different parts of the outfit to kind of break it down and get that price point. So first thing we're gonna do is start off with the shoes. Now I'm gonna do shoes for this one. And those are the Nike Blazers. I think those are the highs or maybe the lows. I think they're highs. So we're gonna type in Nike SB Blazer High. This one right here is a white with a different, I don't know exactly which blazer that is. It might be like a collab or something but it's kind of white with just a different color Nike stripe. So we're gonna go for something like that. Now let's go, or we need to go to shopping. So we have like a tan one. This one's pretty cool right here. It's just a simple, nice uh, white and black. This one here is pretty cool. Let's see, I saw one on images, or this one, CCS right here. So we've got the blazers. Now it's just white with red. And now I think that looks pretty good because it's just white with a hint of a color. And so maybe we can use that red to match a jacket if we can find one similar to that. So let's go ahead and mark that down because that's 85 bucks and I wanna go with the blazers because I honestly don't have a pair of blazers. I think it'd be cool to incorporate it in an outfit and see how they fit on me. So we got the blazers marked down. Next we gotta go for, maybe we can just go, the t-shirt I'm just gonna go for a graphic tee. I'm not gonna go for this one exactly because that is a Supreme t-shirt and it sells for a lot of money. I know that that one specifically is up in the hundreds range so obviously we're not gonna go for that. So we might just go for like a nice simple graphic tee. So I'm gonna do search around the web right now and I'm not really gonna show too much of it because I've looked at graphic tees a lot in these of challenges and just find one to show you guys. So this is the one that I came up with because it has like a square graphic kind of like the one that he was wearing. So it will show underneath that varsity or the letterman jacket, whatever you want to call it. It's a dipset kill a season shirt. Now this is just kind of weird. I mean, the bottom says what's really good. It's just a cool graphic. And I think that it would be cool to have that poking out under some sort of jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and probably just go with this one. I think I'm going to go with a size large. They don't have it in my store, but we can go ahead and order online. 30 bucks. Let's add that to the next part of the challenge and then see where we're going to be at. I think I want to say 250 bucks because we have shoes. So 250 bucks might be a good price point. Next, we're going to go for the Letterman slash Varsity Jacket. So I'm just going to type in on Google Letterman Jacket Men's and just see what we come up with because 
I know that this might be a little bit tough to get something of that color, but I know that there are a lot of stores that come out with stuff like this. So like Forever 21 has this one here. Obviously we got the St. Laurent right here. Yeah, let's not go for that $2,400. That is nice, but we'd have to make that a $3,000 outfit challenge. And can't do th this actually looks pretty similar to that. Uh, it's got the leather uh, sleeves, but I think I wanna go for that color of a red or like a blue or a white because as you can see, those are the main colors that he has. So we're gonna go for something like that. So let's just keep looking. Let's type in men's red varsity jacket. Wow, this one's pretty cool, 200 bucks, though it's a little expensive. Here's one, um, it's actually a decent amount, 250. I like that one a lot. Here's a Chicago Bulls one, but that's not really a kind of the style I'm going for. I honestly like this one, the color, I still wanna go brighter, but this would be a perfect option if you want like a navy or like, it kinda looks like a black one, you can go ahead and go for this one. And I'm honestly gonna link some of these down below if you guys wanna go for that instead of the one that I end up with because this one would probably be good for a lot of people, but I wanna go for that red, white, or blue instead of like the darker colors like that or black. This one's pretty cool right here. I don't know how much I can trust this website, but for a hundred bucks, it's a little, I mean, that's not bad price point but I don't know if I could trust this website, so I don't really wanna like put that on you guys. You know, I'm just gonna keep looking. I really like that navy one, but I'm, I think there's something more out there. I just, wanna, I just wanna double check and look. So while searching around, I went to Urban Outfitters and I found this jacket right here. It's a starter jacket and it's a athletic jacket, but kinda looks like that style if we go back and look. So you know, it's got like the stripes down by the wrist as well as around the neck. It's not as thick as that because that probably has leather sleeves and it's probably a little bit thicker, but since it's summertime and it's even pre-fall time coming up, I think that it would be better to go for something lighter. And this is like, let me see what the material is. Yeah, I was assuming it was nylon, so it's probably a really light jacket even by looking at it. It's got that red color, so we get the hits of red. It doesn't have the white sleeves, but I think that would be a good combination to have with the shoes because we have the red hit on the shoes. So we might just go ahead and add that because that's 90 bucks, not too bad. So we'll go ahead and add that on there, jacket at 90 bucks. And then uh, lastly, we have to get the pants, and I guess that'd be it. Besides, there's actually a uh, bandana on, and I'm honest, I'll probably just go ahead and do that, but you can get a bandana at Michael's for like $2. Yeah, here's a bandana for $2.49, so we can go ahead and do that. I'll just go ahead and grab a bandana just to throw it on. I don't know if I'm gonna like how it looks, but since he's wearing it, we'll go ahead and throw it on. Now we gotta find the pants, kind of the part that I was worried about, but what we're gonna do is just search around and see if we can find anything. I'm not gonna show too much of this because it might take me a while to find something like this. But first, I'll just show the beginning, I guess, and just see if anything comes up. This denim right here isn't bad, to be honest. It's kinda similar, not necessarily, but we could make up for the patches that aren't on the jacket and have them on the denim. That might be cool. We'll just go ahead and keep looking just to be sure, uh, just to see if we can find something different. This one's not bad, but I'm looking for like that like patch like you see like there's like little slits and then there's like a patch of something and i want to be able to maybe find that but it's going to be difficult to be honest so we'll keep looking i think this might be a good option for the denim to go with because it's kind of patchy kind of not so i'm going to update you guys because what i want to do i couldn't find anything else besides this is i'm going to go ahead and try to get this one and if there's any issues getting this one like shipping times or anything I'm just gonna go locally and just try to pick up something like a denim from like Urban Outfitters or something. But we're gonna go ahead and go for this one just because I like the fact that there's patches on it and it's a little bit different. Like it's adding the patches that weren't on the jacket. So it's kind of that Letterman look, but it's different. It's kind of on the pants rather than the jacket. So I think this might be a good option. So what I'm gonna do now is get all these stuff in. So then we're gonna come back see the outfit, talk about the different items, put it all together, see our final price point. Even we could talk about our final price right now. It's at 50 bucks, denim, 50 bucks. So we are five bucks over our price point, which I don't think is bad. So I think that's a good challenge. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything in, and then you guys will see the outfit on me and let me know if you like it. Everything is in, but I did have a problem when it came to that Macy's denim. I could not get those. And then I found a pair on Urban Outfitters that I ended up ordering, which is a pair of Levi's that was like perfect with a patch, but they're a little bit more, they're like $100 more than the other pair of denim. And then those were back ordered. So I had to literally go and get a pair from Urban Outfitters in store that's a similar look. And I think these will be okay, but I was kind of mad at that because I had two instances online where I couldn't get them. So. I don't know, I like these better. I didn't really like those patch ones that much, to be honest, but the flow of like the Letterman jacket with them would have been nice, but these are just like a simple light denim with some similar kind of distressing, so we'll get into that. But now we just gotta open all this up and get into it. I 
never fade us Still right here on the come up with my day ones Got pesos, I feel like Pablo And I boss, so I feel like Lonzo If she find it, she might get a follow But she might get blocked if she don't swallow This man got bands on deck Shut up, can't my check With my amigos and I feel like upset With my amigos and I feel like upset there is the outfit. I like this outfit. It's nice and light. It got some nice denim. This denim is similar to denim that I've seen Cardi wear before, and so that's why I'm okay with using this for this project. And I'm actually a little bit happier that I got these over the other two that I was looking at, just because of the light wash. They have the distressing, very similar. It doesn't have patches, but it does have distressing that is similar. And the overall outfit, I like it. I think it's an outfit that Cardi might wear, just overall of what everything looks like together. You got the nice graphic tee. We got the jacket with like stripes. It's kind of like the Letterman jacket, but a little bit different. The blazers are pretty dope as well. I've never had a pair of blazers, but I think those look good. And I think the whole outfit together just looks good in general. Now it's up to you guys to let me know if I did a good job on this. And if you think I did, please leave a like down below. Let's see if we can hit like 3,000 likes. That's simple. But this is at the end of the video, so that's why I say like 3,000. A lot of these videos, like my Travis Scott one got like 15,000 likes or something crazy like that. But if it's the end of the video and if you're here, leave a comment down below of your favorite aspect of the outfit. So let me know if you like the shoes better, the denim, this jacket, or the tee. What is your favorite part and if you think it's worth that money? Basically, that's it for this outfit challenge. If you guys want to see another one with somebody else, let me know down below because I think the next one is going to be somebody that I've been holding off on doing. A lot of you guys asked for him, but at the same time, a lot of people don't like him. So maybe you can guess who that is, but I think that it would be a good video if I do it. So maybe tonight I'm going to start that video. I'm excited, but you're going to have to wait for that one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy, leave a like down below, like I said, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out. Coffee in my mason jar. We so fortunate we got this far. And I just want to go far. But I don't need